What's going on guys? Welcome to another full gameplay here on the second channel. Uh, today we're playing some more Lee Sin. I've been spamming the Lee Sin uploads because you guys have been eating it up. My view counts have like doubled recently just by only uploading Lee Sin games. Not very surprising, but definitely going to keep that trend for a while. Uh, we're in Plat 2. Our MMR is D4, so this is low diamond elo. Uh, we're up against an Evel in this game. Hopefully I can show you guys how to actually win these fiestas in d4 i feel like a lot of players get stuck in around this elo so today hopefully i can shine some light on how you win these games um okay they're fine i was thinking about rotating back uh so evelyn started red that means i kind of had a feeling they're gonna cheese but usually evelyn starts blue um i guess she she started red so i'm gonna just farm for an early level three my standard clear. Uh, am I getting invaded? Okay, no. I don't think I'm getting invaded, but I might smite this just in case. I don't know. I, I, I normally wouldn't smite that, but I have no idea where Evelyn is. And I don't want her to, like, come up and just steal my camp. That would be really bad, so we'll just smite it. No problem. Um, I don't really want to camp top. Here's why. Uh, our set made it very known that he is auto-filled this game. So it's n genuinely or generally not a good idea to camp, especially in this elo, to camp the auto-fill because it's a pretty hard gap. Even if you get him ahead, he probably won't know what to do with how to how to use it. So I want to be camping uh, my honorable people. Cassidy, though, his early game sucks, so I can't really help him. So probably bot lane. Um, yeah, this guy wants me to come top, but like, I'm telling you, dude, it's not worth it. Unless if I get the kill, but like, I don't know. I just feel like he, he doesn't even know how to play set, so. I think it's better to just sit in other lanes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start heading toward bot side. I mean, oh. This is actually good. Okay, we got, oh, we can turn on this. We got uh, Evelyn flashing, I still got the scuttle. Got him. He got so greedy there. Oh yeah. You wanna know how to carry? Don't take all the kills. But you know what, I'm not mad about it. I'll use it. Honestly, I would typically try and give those to your teammates, but whenever I'm recording, I like, I have no self-control. Like, I always want to take the kills for better content, because now I'm going to be coming back strong as fuck, and I can probably, like, 1v9 this game. Alright, so we get to reset on almost the entire jungle item. Uh, I'll probably go... I'm probably gonna go blue smite. Just look at their team. Other than Jax, they don't really have a whole lot of dueling. It's mainly, and in fact, I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna get another long sword. I'm gonna try and snowball this game early. Uh, Evelyn's. I'm up a level on Evelyn and three kills. So like, I could also go for an early dragon, but uh, mountain drake. Eh. I I'll make my way toward bot side after I get the scuttle and tr potentially kill Evelyn again. She's going to be heading to her top side, so I'm looking to fight her. Evelyn, till she hits 6, is, you shit, at, like, Lisa just shits on Evelyn pre-6. And, like, you honestly beat her after 6, too, as long as she isn't, like, way ahead of you. I can try to gank this. So I want to head toward Dragon anyways. Nice. Good play by Cassidy in there. He got the flash. E. He also flashed. He flashed late. Right. Nicely done. I'm gonna get Dragon now. Instead of fighting Evelyn, I'll take that. I'll just go get Drag. We have uh, Bot Prow and Mid Prow now. We, we got the carry this game. Uh, 
This might hit a second too early. Um, her blue is going to be up in 30 seconds. He's backing off. Let's see if her... Let's see if her gromps up. No. Uh, I don't think it's worth waiting 20 seconds. Although, she's probably going to come here. I'm not level 6. Oh, she's topside. Okay. Never mind. Oh, wait. She started red this game. I'm stupid. For some reason, I thought she started blue. She actually started red. So, her red's coming up, not her blue. So, I'm just going to head to my red. It's... I'm getting it on spawn, and this will get me level 6. I didn't waste that much time. I suppose I should just reset here. I got jungle at him. Watching bot. If they get engaged on, they could die. Actually, I'm pretty sure they win that. This was pretty weak early. I'm not really gonna... I don't think I should path there. I'm just gonna get to my blue in, as quick as I can. Um, against this comp... Yeah, we'll rush MR here. I'm gonna sell this for pink. MR is good into Evelyn always early game. She starts to she starts to fuck you up late game even if you do have MR. But like until hyper late game, it, all it takes is like a hex drinker and you always beat Evelyn in fights. Even though I'm already winning, I don't need it. They have a lot of CC. They have a Galio as well, so it's like uh, MR will go a long way this game. Alright, I'm looking to head top now. Even though I don't like camping the autofill. I think we can get a I think we can get a free kill up there. And he's actually doing well, so. No vision here. Oh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I actually misplayed that so hard. But hey, we take those. Alright. Well, Evelyn's bot, so we get a free Rift Herald. Free 14 minutes, we can get a lot of gold from this. We can get plates. I take this really fast since I already have jungle item. It goes down faster if you have your jungle item build. Like, look how fast this is going down. Holy shit. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess we could plop this top. This galley is in lane. Um, you know what we could do? We could probably dive with my Rift Herald. Set it's got a good dive. Bang. Perfect. And we should get the tower. This is just like a perfect game so far. get those minions all right set is the only other person on my team that's killed so even though it looks like this game is un unlosable it's still very much losable so i can't get uh i can't get greedy and cocky i saw it to play how i would normally play even if it was like an even game because i'm the only one that's fed so i don't want to get complacent and then like watch my team throw away the lead because they're not fed i guess really i'm the one that throws away the lead at this point set's big though second second carry all right, Evelyn's top side. Dragon in a minute. We want to definitely get all objectives at this point in the game. With me being so fed. When your jungler's fed, it's really easy to secure objectives. But I'm beyond fed. All these kills mean nothing. Like, let's, let's bear that in mind. These kills mean nothing if I don't turn it into something. Which in this case is, uh... Oh, wait a sec. Yeah, he's got him. Bang. Clean. Apparently Galio lived. I'm not sure how. Oh man, that's unlucky. Oh my god, he lived. And we're 8-0 at 10 minutes. 
Yeah, yes I am. Alright, another free dragon. <laughs> Her turn on this game. Somehow she's still a level 8, like she's keeping up in level. Um, I'm gonna try and pick this Evelyn in the jungle. I'm not, I do have to be careful, I'm worth a thousand right now. I should just reset, actually. Oh, wait a sec. 15 on my ult, so... Wait, is she here? I think I saw Evelyn show. She's around here. Let's just go bot. There she is. This is a hard jungle diff, man. That's game. They can't. They can't recover from that one. Wow. I am landing every Q. I am playing really clean, good macro. Like this is just a beautiful game for YouTube. I don't see us throwing, even though I have all the gold. It doesn't even matter at this point because we have, we still have like slight advantages in all the lanes. I don't want to like go for a sick play. Okay, Evelyn's here. Check it out. I might. Even though everyone's recalled. Haha, <laughs> she ulted. She literally just ulted immediately. That's hilarious. Galio's probably like standing right here. I'm going to steal her blue on spawn. Side. We can get another Rift Herald. Um, we have 15 seconds. They're starting. They're just. They're the way they're playing. I don't think they're gonna forfeit. Cause they're playing like really conservative. Like they're trying to scale the game, knowing that I have all the kills. But I don't think it'll matter that I have all the kills. I think we still miss. Like, the, the problem is, is like, even though my team isn't fed, they're still ahead, you know? I've gotten every objective, though. This is beautiful. We still have we're still getting more resources. That was my bad. She's just gonna ult though. I, I wanna go for the prediction. I ain't gonna lie. Aw, he used it already.
I want to make big plays, but like I can't when my set's smurfing on them. That should be the FF. I can't imagine they don't surrender after that one. <gasps> the tower got me! No! My perfect game! My perfect game is ruined. Uh, I really thought I was going to live that. I took one extra tower shot that I didn't need to. But I think I did my job this game, boys. And that's three dragons. I think we... Uh, <laughs> ending the game legitimately by 17 minutes. So, okay, so... Now that this game is probably over, like, I don't think they're... Maybe they don't surrender. Okay, well they're not surrendering, but let's let's recap. Uh, what did I do this game to to get us our lead? First of all, I I figured out where Evelyn was pathing, and I pathed accordingly. That's every game you should be you should have a path in mind, but you should pay attention to what they do. Um, I didn't camp the autofill top laner, even though he played great. I decided not to gank for him early, and I sat bot instead. Um, we ended up getting like a double kill for myself. Actually, we got a triple kill because Evelyn came bot. We, or we met her at Scuttlecraft. So I knew that I beat Evelyn early, so I fought her early. Um, I sat in the lane that I knew probably would follow up with me. After that, I pressed my advantage by getting Dragons, Rift Heralds. I paid attention to which lanes had Pryo. And beyond that, it was just going lane to lane and pushing my advantage. Not, not taking too much time to farm when I have a lead like this. And I landed my Qs. That's honestly, when it comes to micro, landing my Qs is... <laughs> landing my Qs is like uh, the unsung hero of a lot of these fights. Because like when I'm this fed, one Q will do half their health. So if I miss these Qs, it's bad. So figure out which lane you think is best to camp. Uh, know, your, know which path you want to take before your game even starts. And uh, adjust it based on what they do. And then beyond that, it's just know your power spikes and push your lead. Seems more, it sounds simple when I say it, but like. Oh, I didn't have any energy. That's awkward. At this point, it's just, I'm getting the spoils of war here. At this point, I can do whatever the fuck I want. We're gonna win this game before 20 minutes, no surrender. Report Ev, for what? You're 0-6, brother. And that's the clean plus 50. Yeah, like I said, it, kind of, it sounds kind of simple when I say it out loud. Like, almost like obvious, but like, the execution of what I say is really what matters. So, practice the way you play Lee. Um, I'm gonna give it to, I'm actually gonna give it to Set because he was autofill and he played really well. Yeah, we hard shit on him. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Lee Sin gameplay. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be uploading daily full gameplays for Lee Sin. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. Peace out.